<laughs> After a long battle to uh, try and stop the E-Levy, uh, it still got passed. Yeah. You admit you were outmaneuvered, outfought, outfought by the majority Well, I, I, uh, it's sad to say, with the help of the court. You see, I know a lot of people were worried and concerned, so finally all this battle, yes, it's true. We've invested a lot of energy, we've a lot of time, a lot of things that happened. We've held them from November, December, January, February, March. For five months, we have outsmart them until they had the court to help them. Oh. And I'm sorry to say they had the court to help them. Can you imagine on, in a week, you have a strikeout at an appeals court. You have on the same day, 29th, a high court hearing the criminal case and a Supreme Court hearing the same case. And you know, that is the justice system working. Well, well, that's how you say it. And you have, in the criminal case, the MP needs to be there himself. And Evans, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy at all. So, yes, I'll say that, yes, they got it, but with the help of but the it, court. But you admit that the court was just simply doing its job. Well, let me say, the coincidence was just too much. That within that same week, and on a particular day, you have the same person appearing. It's supposed to appear in two courts at the same time. As far as political strategy go, you must applaud the majority. If you were in your that, position, you that, would have done so. That they have, to see, they have to use the court. Yeah, but the court is there for anybody well, who has so a case Evans, to go. So let me say that if there's a group that needs to be congratulated, it's us. But you failed in the end. No, because you see, we were 137. And they were 137 plus 1, so total 138. To have been able to hold them from November to, to March. Don't just discount that.